Previously on The Walking Dead. No! You monsters! <laughs> You're a piece of work, you know that? Garcias! Oh, you, you... You shook my goddamn guts out! <laughs> Joan was in on it! We did it on her orders! I'm... I'm sorry! It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag! I'll help you! I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this! Maybe he'll be useful. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. I'd hold it there, folks. And I'd consider explaining yourselves. I asked you to get Kate and Gabe safe. Not tuck your tail and run. This is not over, Joe. I have friends here. Allies. Strike one. I'm out of practice, that's all. Yeah, same here. I haven't held a bat since the league booted me. Well, you got all afternoon to get back in your groove. <sighs> oh, yeah. Just holding this thing makes me feel better. You doing okay? Uh, I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey, man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? <laughs> if you could sign my baseball, that would be so awesome. I, I watch you play all the time. Sure thing, kid. Oh, man! Thank you! Who do I make this out to? Oh, no, no. N no names. Band player signatures are worth way more on resale than personalized crap. <laughs> Just your name is fine. D don't date it or anything. <sighs> <sighs> Hope you like it. Oh, yeah! I might get ten bucks for this! You gotta keep those fans happy, big star. Let's get back to baseball. It's out of here. Holy cow. You just had to rub it in, didn't you? Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah. You should try it. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Strike two. Man, knock that shit off. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. It's annoying. Jeez, you gotta learn to relax, David. What do you suggest? Put some money on it? You know I don't do that anymore. I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, I'd avoid batting cages forever. Well, thanks for bringing me anyway. I needed the distraction. See? We all have off days. 
Come on, man. Don't start sucking on my account. Next time, we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot. But I do. And I'm good at it. Ow! Fuck! You gotta shut up! Stupid thing. My arm's throbbing. Garcia takes one for the team. That's gotta hurt. God damn it, Javi. I fucking warned you. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. Garcia's hot streak is cooling. On purpose. I think I got a few more swings in me. You in? Ah, oh, David. David, what's wrong? Come back. I'm sorry, man. I was trying to keep it together. I'm not good at talking like this. What's going on? David, I, I don't understand. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. And I'm sick of it. It's been that way for years. You've always been looking out for yourself. You tried to help me, yet let me help you. You really want to help? All right. Drive me down to the recruitment office next week. The army? My job sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. I had a purpose there. I had respect. Ah, you know what? Yeah, do what you need to do. The army could be good for you. I was expecting more of an argument. Things between me and Kate have been going downhill for a while. But if I left, it seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. Not anymore. I'm not gonna stand in your way. Well, all right then. I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. You can help, right? You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. In my mind. I'll be there for them, since you won't. If you want to go, you should go. <sighs> Thank you. I really mean it. We good? Yeah. We good. Come on. Let's get out of here. Buy your beer. Get in there. I let you go. On the road, remember? Can't you help us now? Most I remember, it's why I haven't shot you already. Thanks, how I'm helping you. Joan's making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you tried to attack her. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell them- And that's your mistake right there. You can't fight everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this, but you've got to let Joan enforce the laws. You do anything she tells you to do, huh? Go along with whatever she says just to keep your place. It's not like that. Joan's got a tough job. She needs all our help to keep this place safe. You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. After I brought you in, after I saved your asses, this is how you treat me. Betrayal? Lies? It was too risky to stay. I was trying to keep Kate safe. I had a plan for that. You fucked it up. Do you see what Joan's doing? This is a power grab, pure and simple. I could have found a way to protect all of you. But now? Now you're all on your own. You gotta still have some friends here, right? She managed to flip Clint and Lingard to her side somehow. Without them, it's hopeless. It's everyone out for themselves these days. Hey, 
We can still win this. You and me together should be able to take down some punk-ass soldiers. <laughs> you are so goddamn naive, Javi. We're outnumbered here. I could be far away from here. There are other communities out there. I'm right here with you, man. We don't have to run. We can handle it. All right. I'm listening. The problem is, I don't know what to do now. There's no way out of this. They got us boxed in here, literally. They want to break us, so we have to put on a united front. You with me? A hundred percent? A hundred percent. Well, now. You two seem ready for anything. Armed escort? You're that scared to face me? Oh, David. I'm not scared of you. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not gonna be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion between us. I won't be a problem if you let us go. In fact, I may even be friendly. I'm sorry. I can't do that. <laughs> but I like what you're trying to do. It's sad how we ended up here. But Clinton Lingard agree. You've become a problem. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. I know the laws, Joan. You're the one breaking them. This place could have been something. Something good. And you ruined it. This place needs me to keep it safe. You set me up. Everyone's gonna see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. We'll debate all of this in the morning. Right now, David, I need to ask you some questions in private. Bring him with us. Screw this. Gotta get out of here. <sighs> Locked. I'm not getting out through here. Ugh, <sighs> nothing useful here. Could squeeze through there. I wasn't sure how I was going to find you. Then I heard the glass breaking. You're alive. For now, you escaped the guards. Barely. We gotta get you out of here. Take this. Help me pry these bars off. <clears throat> Shit. Give it a push from your side. Thanks, Kate. Now, give me a hand.
What's all that noise? It's a herd. They've got this place surrounded. Come on. This way. Where are you taking me? Eleanor found a place. Gabe's there with the others. We've been hiding out there. For as long as we can, anyway. Is Gabe all right? He'd rather be charging in to save David right now. But I convinced him to be cautious. We should probably keep moving. Where are the patrols? Oh, they're around. I had some close calls on my way to find you. Almost got caught. But I got lucky. You must be feeling better if you're sneaking around like this. I'm not, really. But I'll get my rest when we're safe. All clear. Come on. I saw them take David from the quarantine building. Yeah. How's he doing? I can't be his wife anymore. But he doesn't deserve to be locked away. He feels betrayed by everyone. You, me, his people. I wish it didn't have to be this way. Okay, lead the way. They're gonna be looking for you soon. It's only a matter of time before they find the room empty. And sound the alarm. They can keep looking. Because we're gonna be out of Richmond soon. Not soon enough. Eleanor's place. There's a lot of activity all of a sudden. I don't like this. Come on. Let's get inside.
I think we should be a team. I'm sorry. I don't know if I feel like that. That way. Hey, buddy. It's good to see you, Avi. Really, your goofy face and everything. It's great to see you, Gabe. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Yeah, well, things have changed. I just can't do this now. Oh, hey. Uh, hey. Trip, look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, <clears throat> uh, where have you been? You guys need some time, or...? No, it's cool. It's fine. What is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. What do we do? It's dangerous for us here. We've got to go. That's crazy! We're safer here. Safer than anyone else. Tell that to my brother. He's still in their custody. I want to go save my dad. Right now. He needs our help. No way. It's just too dangerous. The best thing for our family is to get out of here. Of course you'd say that. You already tried running away once. Have you guys even looked out the window? Go look for yourself. Even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Wow. As much as I don't want to be here... You sure are glad we didn't stumble into that on our own? <sighs> Fuck. Yeah. Can you imagine? I'm not sure it's much safer in here. Yeah. I think the entire world's fucked right now. It seems like we're in danger within this place and without. I, for one, would feel a whole lot safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. That the smartest move to make right now? That's crazy. If we're really going to make it out of here, we have to be ready to shoot our way out, right? Yeah, right. Good. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. I can take us. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get back here as soon as we can. Good luck. Come here. Kate, I... Just be careful. Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but... I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. It happens, especially these days. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Just shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Wasn't fair. Too much going on already, right? Javi, come on! Just give us a minute, pal. I'm sorry, buddy. I just, I don't know what to do. With all that's going on here, everybody's feeling overwhelmed. Try to wait for the right time. Maybe she'll come around. <sighs> uh-huh. Right. Okay. Good luck out there. I'll talk it over with Eleanor and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Thank you. Javi, come on. Good luck. Stay alert. Be careful. You'll be fine. Okay. This'll be great. 
We got this. Slow down, buddy. I've done this before, Avi. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? What do you mean, Avi? If you get cornered, and you feel your life is in danger, then show no mercy, okay? You are more important to me than any of these other people. Okay. No mercy, right? If it comes to that, Gabe. But the takeaway from that was supposed to be to protect yourself first and last, okay? Don't hurt anybody unless you have to. Okay. We don't want to make any noise and attract any attention. Hey, I can go talk to him while you sneak inside. I'll distract him. You won't do anything to me. I'll tell him I saw something suspicious. It's a good idea, Gabe. I, I can do this. I saw something. Show me. Told you it would work. Good work, buddy. It's down here. The guns are through that door. for a key either. I have to do this the hard way. Put these in your bag. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle nephew one two punch. Yeah, we do. Drop it. What the hell are you doing here? What are you doing with all that? We're trapped here in town. There's a herd at the gates. No matter what's going on out there, I need to be able to protect my family. 
Javier, that herd is the least of your fucking problems right now. It was a shit thing to do, fucking off on me like that. I know. I... Why didn't you meet me at the stronghold? We had a plan. My brother is in over his head and the water is rising. He needs our help. You're damn straight he does. But why should I trust you now? As far as I can tell, you're nothing but trouble. Because what Joan is doing is wrong. I guess I can't really say no to that. And it looks like you could use all the help you can get. Awesome. I gotta grab something else real quick. Meet me by the front at five. Okay. Come here. You're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my God. I'll be fine. Are you sure? I'm so sorry. Yes, I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. We have to get back to the others. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody sees him. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Clem? <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, <sighs> that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. I thought you were someone else. Looking for something? Sort of. I know this looks bad, but it's not like... It's not like what? I'm just here to talk to Lingard about where AJ is now. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. All right. Go for it. But if I lose my arm, that's on you. Ha ha. You'll be fine. I've dealt with worse. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. <clears throat> Clem. Are you okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know it's a thing. 
I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. It means you're growing up, blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. Your body is, is developing, and then things change, but it, it'll be okay. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. <sighs> Wake up! Talk to me! Dr. Lingard? Dr. Lingard. Dr. Lingard, can you hear me? Does he look like he can hear you? <sighs> Wake up! Talk to me! <sighs> wow, that guy is really out of it. Cody. Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. Well, these could come in handy. Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. <sighs> Just pills. Here we go. Hey, this is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. I think I remember how to do this. Okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Kenny used to say I was a natural born mother. It's a butterfly. <laughs> Goofball, want another? Which one to do next? Hmm. How about bark, bark? Down, boy. <laughs> That's a pretty good dog. Always used to do that one for Duck. He'd laugh his ass off. Oh, shit. Hey, grab the lighter out the duffel, will you? Just a second, goofball. Voila. Hey, get 
Get away from him! Is he okay? Shh. Still not bitten, little guy. You know, first time I saw you holding AJ, it just looked so natural. Somewhere up there, his mama is looking down on you. Grateful for what you're doing. Always putting him first. You've done as much for AJ as I have. Rebecca would be grateful for you, too. Yeah, but you're the only mama he's got. Protective, loving, caring. All the things a good parent needs to be, and all at your age. But parenthood is a hell of a motivator, though. <laughs> That's for sure. That kind of love. It's worth dying for. I guess that's what Katya felt when Duck... Well... Well, that was a, a long time ago. Ooh. Kids as sick of the cold as I am. So I've been thinking, it's no use surviving out here, hoping that Wellington will take us in someday. I bet we find some good people down in Florida. Maybe even a little friend for this goofball. Wouldn't that be nice? We could use the company. Hell, I know I could. AJ could use a friend his own age. I remember when you and Duck used to color together back at the motel. Helped him forget about all this. For a moment, anyway. I'm sure it helped you, too. Life doesn't mean much without people you can relate to. Sarita always said, family is what you make it. She was right. I'm sorry for all this sappy shit. I guess I'm just... happy. Huh. First time in a while. <whistles> all right, all right, all right. Enough sap, Kenny. How about this one, little man? <laughs> We've got each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay. Who's there? All right, all right. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I know how pissed you are, Clementine. Spitting on David really got that message across. Believe it or not, I'm actually sorry about what happened. 
It wasn't easy for any of us. You have to believe that. I'm going to get AJ back. You can't keep me away forever. That's just not going to happen, Clem. Look, it's not much, but... Here. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you... It calmed him down. This... Thank you. You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering? We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now... You're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. Oh, I'll keep fighting. You guys gave me no other choice. It's not time for that anymore, Clem. Your focus has to be on you now. That's all you can do. For me... Staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. They're out there. I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head, helping me, guiding me. He's still with you, you know, here. So is AJ. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness, hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. It's what keeps the rest of us going. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. <sighs> I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. Remember to keep the focus on you now, Clem. And when you need a little extra support, there's an old airfield about 10 or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Clem. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. I owe you one. Add it to the pile. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. There any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Despite all her pleasantries, she's a cruel bitch. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's... He's not getting out. Guess there's only one... sure way to get away from Joan these days. 
Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. The fact of the matter is, David's been good for AJ, among others. Clem can be the judge of that. She doesn't need to be. As a doctor, I'm telling you, he's in better shape now than when I first saw him. That was because he was sick. He would have stayed sick, too, if I had listened to you, Doctor. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then? You... You want to know where the boy is? What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Hang in there. Tomorrow's another day. I, I can't. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. to know. I've been looking for too long. I can't lose him now. Not when I'm this close. All right. I'll do it. Well, where is he? He's... He's at the McCarroll Ranch. A few miles west of here. He's really alive. Don't forget to stick around to handle the after part. I don't want to become one of those monsters. Don't forget, Joan's looking for you. And your friend. You better hope she doesn't find you. I've got it. <laughs> Finally. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Mm, good to see you. Javi, you're back. And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Guys, this is Ava. Oh She's... yeah, I know who she is. She's got a hell of a punch. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, Ava. Oh, hell. You okay? 
Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Thanks. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's got to be a stressful job. Looking after an entire community? Can't say I approve of the way he blows off steam, though. Actually, Lingard's dead. Oh, my God. He asked me to help him end it, so I helped him. I... I had no idea things had gotten that bad for him. He was done. With all this. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just because they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. We can't just wait around here to get shot, that's for damn sure. Hey, we can do this. Yeah. We've gotten out of tougher jams before, haven't we? I mean, sure. But this is different. We can't just cut and run. Not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now, how the fuck are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated from us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. We move in fast. Guns blazing, and we take her out. Couple of bullets, problem solved. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are gonna be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. You should have told me as soon as you got in. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. <sighs> I thought you guys were gonna be careful out there. Hey, hey, don't worry about it. It is what it is. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor, can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. Hey, 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 slow down, would you? You're getting way ahead of yourself. Who's to say you're even coming along, kid? Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, 